The U.S. Navy just got one step closer to its next-generation fighter, and Northrop Grumman's new concept art is turning heads. It's stealthy, it's sleek, and it might be the most advanced carrier-based jet ever designed. But what are we really looking at? And how close is it to reality? Let's find out. For more than two decades, the FA-18EF Super Hornet has been the backbone of the U.S. Navy's carrier air wings. Since its introduction in the late 1990s, the Super Hornet has flown countless missions, from precision strikes in the Middle East to patrols over contested waters in the Pacific. But aircraft age, threats evolve, and by the 2030s, even the youngest Super Hornets will be approaching the end of their service lives. Against this backdrop, the Navy has been quietly preparing their next step, a sixth-generation carrier-based fighter known as the FAXX. The program's roots stretch back to the late 2000s and early 2010s, when the Pentagon began thinking seriously about what would replace its fourth-generation fleets. The Air Force kicked off its own next-generation air dominance program, aimed at finding a successor to the F-22 Raptor. The Navy followed suit with its own initiative, but with a twist. Their aircraft had to survive the unforgiving environment of an aircraft carrier while still delivering unprecedented reach, stealth, and lethality. That meant balancing two competing demands, extreme performance in the air and extreme toughness at sea. Initially, the Navy explored multiple paths, including unmanned combat aircraft. But early experiments, like the X-47B stealth drone, revealed that while fully autonomous fighters might one day take over, the technology wasn't yet ready to replace manned aircraft entirely. Instead, the Navy envisioned a family of systems, a manned fighter at the core, flanked by drones acting as loyal wingmen, electronic warfare platforms, and long-range sensors. The centerpiece of this future air wing would be the FAXX. In early concept work, the Navy's wish list was ambitious. The new fighter needed longer range than the Super Hornet, critical for keeping carriers safe from the expanding reach of Chinese anti-ship missiles. It had to be stealthier to slip past increasingly advanced radars. It needed advanced networking so it could command drones and share targeting data across the fleet. And it had to be built with open architecture so future upgrades could be integrated without tearing apart the airframe. Multiple aerospace giants entered the quiet competition. Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and Northrop Grumman among them. Boeing, as the current maker of the Super Hornet, pushed designs that evolved from the familiar. Lockheed, riding on its F-35 experience, leaned heavily into stealth and sensor fusion. And Northrop, perhaps the most intriguing contender, brought decades of stealth expertise from projects like the B-2 Spirit Bomber and its spiritual successor, the B-21 Raider. For years, the Navy kept most details locked away. Then, in August 2025, Northrop Grumman broke their silence, releasing the first official concept art of their vision for the FAXX. While it's still just an artist's rendering, it offers tantalizing clues about how one of America's top defense contractors imagines the future of carrier air power. The image shows a sleek, stealth-optimized jet crouched at the edge of a carrier's catapult. The shape is all flowing curves and blended surfaces, clearly designed to scatter radar waves. A broad, slightly pointed nose suggests space for a powerful radar array. A bubble canopy provides the pilot with panoramic visibility. Not unlike modern fighters, but mounted higher for better situational awareness during carrier landings. Perhaps the most distinctive feature is the pair of top-mounted engine intakes, sitting like shoulders above the fuselage. Their placement could help shield the engine's radar-reflective compressor blades from enemy sensors, a classic stealth design trick. But it also hints at careful airflow management for high-performance maneuvering. The rear of the aircraft tapers into a wide, flat body, likely hiding an internal weapons bay. Twin vertical tails angle outward, similar to the F-35C, but set further apart. 
This could improve low-speed control during carrier approaches and give the aircraft more stability in crosswinds at sea. The landing gear is visibly beefy with a twin-wheel nose strut designed to absorb the punishment of arrested carrier landings. Everything about the design signals a jet built for both survivability and sustained operations far from home. It's hard not to notice the resemblance to Northrop's YF-23, the stealth fighter prototype that lost to the F-22 Raptor in the 1990s. The YF-23 was known for its smooth, futuristic shape and exceptional stealth, and many aviation enthusiasts have long dreamed of a carrierized version. The FAXX concept art doesn't copy the YF-23 directly, but it carries echoes of its design philosophy, prioritizing stealth and range over raw dog-fighting agility. Of course, it's important to remember that concept art is not a blueprint. Some features may be deliberately misleading to protect classified aspects of the design. The real FAXX, should Northrop win, could differ in significant ways. Different intake shapes, adjusted tail geometry, or completely reconfigured sensor placements. Still, renderings like this offer a rare public glimpse into the usually secretive world of next-generation fighter development. The release of the artwork also came at an interesting moment in the program's timeline. For months, there had been rumors of delays in the Navy's sixth-generation fighter plans. Budget pressures, shifting priorities, and the technical challenges of integrating manned and unmanned systems all threatened to slow progress. Then, suddenly, new concept art hit the public. Many analysts saw it as a sign that the Navy was moving into a more competitive phase of the program, perhaps inching closer to selecting a winner. This competition will shape not just the future of naval aviation, but potentially the entire trajectory of American air power. Unlike the Air Force's NGAD program, which is focused on air dominance in land-based operations, the Navy's FAXX has to operate from the constrained deck of a moving ship in salty, corrosive environments under constant threat from long-range missiles. That means every design choice, from wing-folding mechanisms to corrosion-resistant coatings, is a matter of survival. If the Navy sticks to its current plan, the FAXX will enter service in the early 2030s, gradually replacing the Super Hornet fleet. But it won't fly alone. Alongside it will be carrier-based drones like the MQ-25 Stingray, which can refuel manned fighters in mid-air, extending their range. Future uncrewed combat aircraft, building on the X-47B's legacy, may act as missile carriers or electronic warfare platforms working in tandem with the manned fighter. This manned-unmanned teaming approach is central to the Navy's vision, and the new fighter will need the computing power, data links, and artificial intelligence integration to make it happen. There's also the question of how far stealth technology can be pushed for a carrier fighter. The Air Force's land-based NGAD can prioritize stealth above almost everything else, but carrier aircraft face size and weight constraints Wings must fold for storage, and landing gear must be robust enough for repeated deck impacts. These necessities can create design compromises. The FAX will likely have stealth shaping and coatings on par with or better than the F-35C, but perhaps not to the extreme levels of the B-21 bomber. Instead, survivability may come from a mix of stealth, electronic warfare, and long-range standoff weapons. Speaking of weapons, the Navy hasn't revealed much about the FAXX's planned armament. Internal weapons bays are a given for stealth operations, likely sized to carry air-to-air -air missiles like the AIM-260 Joint Advanced Tactical Missile. The Air Force and Navy's next-generation AMR-AAM replacement. For strike missions, the jet might carry precision-guided bombs internally or mount larger standoff missiles on external pylons when stealth isn't required. Given its likely role as the tip of the spear, it will probably integrate advanced sensors for targeting and battle management, potentially replacing some functions currently performed by the E-2D Hawkeye. One area where Northrop might have an advantage 
is in sensor fusion and electronic warfare. Their experience with the B-2, B-21, and various classified programs has given them expertise in integrating stealth airframes with powerful sensor suites. In modern combat, being able to detect and jam the enemy before they detect, you can be as decisive as speed or agility. Still, the competition is far from over. Boeing has deep carrier aviation experience and may pitch an FAXX design that emphasizes maintainability and lower life cycle costs. A big factor for a Navy that has to operate fighters far from major maintenance hubs. The Navy's choice will come down to balancing performance, survivability, cost, and industrial capability. For now, we only have a glimpse of what the future might look like. A single image of a dark gray fighter poised for launch into the unknown. But that glimpse is enough to spark imagination. If Northrop's concept, or something close to it, eventually takes shape on carrier decks, it will represent not just the next chapter in naval aviation, but the culmination of decades of lessons learned in stealth, networking, and power projection. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates on cutting-edge military technology. And thanks for watching.